Miriam Slalsberg here of Miriam Reads Tarot, and I hope you're doing well. So today, we're going to talk about five easy ways to cleanse tarot cards. So one of the things that new tarot readers are concerned about, understandably so, is how to cleanse the tarot cards. And it is a legitimate concern because mucky energies can leak over to the cards, whether it is someone else touching them or or just over time, you know, um, it just happens. So cleansing is a necessity or else the readings will be tainted, which is the last thing you really want to see happen. So additionally, it is true that when you do get your first deck that you do need to cleanse it before you begin using them. And they should be cleansed once to, once a month if you're only using them to read for yourself. Now, they should be cleansed once a week if you are reading for others, but you're the only one who's touching the cards. But if others are touching your cards, then you need to cleanse them after each reading. But you are asking, how do you cleanse them? Is it a necessity to burn sage or to cleanse the cards uh, through um, incense? I mean, do you need to do all that? The answer to that is no. You absolutely do not have to use sage or incense. If the idea of that bothers you, especially, then don't do it. Fortunately, there are much simpler ways to cleanse the cards. So let's go over five of those easy ways to do that right now um, that do not involve the use of burning sage or incense. So the first method to cleanse your cards is through sunbathing. This is the easiest way to cleanse your cards. All you need to do is leave the cards by a windowsill during the day where they can get a lot of sunlight and you can just leave them there all day. It will remove the mucky energy and they can be used the next day. Just don't do it on a really humid day or else the cards could be warped. And you don't need to leave your cards uh, at, the, at the windowsill for more than a day or else the colors will fade. So just one day do it and that'll be enough. All right. Number two, moon bathing. So just like sunbathing, you can put the cards on the windowsill on a night when it is a full moon for them to be cleansed. You don't have to worry about the cards being at the risk of being warped, even on a hot summer night. Humidity will go down enough overnight. Um, it won't affect it. So it is really the most effective to do, to do this when it's a full moon. Um, you can do it when there is moonlight, um, but the full moon is really fully effective. So this is a great way for readers to read their cards for themselves, only to cleanse them because you just do it once a month if you want to do it for a full moon, right? So that is a great uh, way to do it, which is what I do uh, for the uh, tarot deck that I use for myself. All right, here's a third way. Get a Himalayan salt slab. Many readers like the idea of cleansing their decks in a container full of salt, wrapped in saran wrap, or the cards placed in a Ziploc bag, of course. However, the concern over that is the messy, it's a messy way to do it, and the cards can potentially, potentially get ruined. So the simple solution to this is to get a Himalayan salt slab to put your, your cards on, and it will have the same effect. All right, fourth way. Use crystals. Crystals are a great asset when you're doing readings, but it's not necessary either. However, they are great for cleansing as well, if you choose to do that. The crystals to use to uh, clear, to cleanse them, are the clear quartz. Um, and it also helps for amplifying intuition. You can just use the clear quartz with your reading to intensify your intuition. Um, you know, you can also use amethyst for cleansing. Um, you, you can use uh, black tourmaline for grounding. And it also helps to take negative energy uh, away, like it protects it from negative energy. So those are good crystals to use. So keep in mind, just like the cards, crystals need to be cleansed as well. So you can do that either by sunbathing them or moonbathing them, or you can use salt. Okay, here's another simple way. How about knocking or blowing on the cards? So you can either blow on the cards or knock on them three times. If you were to uh, say, if you were the same way you were to knock on a door or to remove any negative energies, you can knock on the cards. So this is a tactic that tarot readers who read for multiple people a day use as they need to keep the cards cleansed in order to, uh, you know, in between readings, especially if other people are touching them. Okay, so now you see that you do not need to worry about burning sage or incense to cleanse the cards. Any of these five techniques work wonders too. 
So I know that some readers say that visualizing helps as well as watching the negative energy fall away, Envision, envisioning the cards um, being bathed through a sun, like a, a bright white light. I mean, I've heard some... I've heard some readers say they use that tactic as well. And I mean, if it works for them, great. It's not one that I'm particularly too comfortable with using because I'm not sure how well that works, but that's just me. So anyway, that's why any of these five methods, I feel, are a lot more effective than that. So however you choose to cleanse your cards, good luck with it. And I'm sure it will work. Your intuition will know. All right. Well, thank you for sticking around and don't forget to subscribe. I will see you soon.